What's up guys, this is Matt and that is Dan and you are watching Game Punch Live episode 7 for October 23rd. Uh, we're doing it a little bit early. Normally we're late, either That's by right. a half hour or so or a whole day, but we're actually a little bit early. Yeah, we got plans this evening. Yeah. So early. <laughs> there's, a, there's a TV show on that I don't really think anybody's watching. But, uh, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to watch it after this or maybe play some Overwatch with, uh, with the crew. You will play some Overwatch with the crew, and it will be awesome. Watch Maybe with we'll the see. Crew. We'll see. You will. There's no get out of it. <laughs> uh, all right. So if you are new to the show, um, we Dan and I like to cover a couple of pieces of gaming news that happen each week, and then we go into talking about the games that we played. Um, there's usually a lot of stuff that happen. Not usually a lot, but there's usually several things that happen throughout the week um we try to keep this show to a pretty manageable time so we yeah. only cover a couple of the big ones but we have three things for you tonight and dan I, let's take this list if you don't care let's take this list a little bit out of order let's take it from from least impact to earth shattering impact okay if you will so let's the first thing let's talk about is hello the kitty online yes oh sorry and it's pay to win <laughs> <laughs> and I would gladly pay to win that game. And it's earth shattering. <laughs> uh, so the first thing we're going to mention is that this week, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced. So everybody kind of figured this was coming. It was really more just a matter of when. Uh, it, uh, so it was being confirmed. Um, they, a, a trailer was released... And let me see if I can show a little bit of it. I don't. I get so. I've been getting hit with a lot of copyright things lately. Yeah. So I don't know if you need to. Maybe we can just show just a little bit. Um, it actually, it's only it's only a couple minutes long. It's actually kind of a uh, anticlimactic. It doesn't really tell us much other than hey, this is a thing that's going to happen. I'm going to skip. Okay, let me switch off of that now because uh, I'm real nervous about copyright stuff now. <laughs> But um, but even though we can't show you here, you've probably already seen it, and you probably know that it doesn't really show anything. There's no in-game footage or anything. It barely, it doesn't even really set up a story. All it does is confirm that yes, Red Dead Two is coming next year, and show you the amazing landscape that you will be roaming around in. Thank you very much. Well, yes, and that that's is a good a thing. That's thing. that's yeah. something that we are excited about. Uh, the first Red Dead was very open world. Uh, lots of stuff mm -hmm. to see and do. We expect even more from this. We I don't, don't think really it's gonna know. Be multiplayer. I What's think that? it's gonna be co-op. I think it's gonna be co-op. You think it's gonna be co-op, like yeah. online co-op, but not full? Wait, what do you mean? I think that we'll be able to run the game as a team because at the, the end there, you run in and like as a posse, it looks like, and I think that might be a a foreshadowing of things to come from Rockstar to be a co-op game to play together with your friends. I'd be down with that. I don't need a multiplayer shooter. I don't need multiplayer, but I do want to play co-op online with you guys. Right. So that's all I really need. Um, the only other thing, so that, so, but that's the question. So we don't know the multiplayerness of it. Uh, we don't know if it's single or Correcto. if there's going to be competitive mode or if it's just co-op or whatever. We do know that it's coming out next year, and it's been confirmed for the PS4 and the Xbox One, but no mention of PC, and that's got a lot of uh, PC players up in arms. But yeah, Rockstar usually brings PC stuff out later. Well, that's so. So here's the weird thing: uh, they normally do. So Grand Theft Auto Five, obviously, we played it a lot until Dan told us we couldn't anymore. But. Right, right, right. Um, the only thing is, the first Red Dead Redemption did not get released on PC. Um, so we don't know. But other Rockstar games have. It's just been later. So I kind of feel like with the success of GTA V on the PC, I kind of feel like, and especially in this day and age, by the time it comes out 2017, and I, I feel like this will have to be on PC at some point. I oh, think, we will at some point, but I mean, it's like a, it may not be right away. Yeah, and I think... Yeah, it'll. I don't think it'll be the same time, and that's why they didn't announce it. I think it'll probably be like six months later or something like that. I'm okay with that. Uh, I could. I could wait, couldn't you? Do you think you could wait until? Uh, no, I'll be buying this on console. Really? <laughs> Are, were you oh, really? Yeah, I already played. I beat the first one. I loved it. I thought it was a great game and one of the best games ever made. So yeah, I'll be buying this right away, no matter what it comes out on. <laughs> okay. So there. Well, <laughs> I yeah. may end up with the PC version as well, but I'm going to get the console version if that's first. There's rumors that it's a prequel 
Um, so, you know, that could be a thing. Um, I don't, I don't really care. I mean, do you think, would you prefer it to be a sequel, prequel? Well, I'm not going to say how the first one ended, uh, but if you if you've seen the ending of the first one, then you know that if the second one came off the back end of that, it would have been pretty fun. Um, but a prequel's fine. Um, I know why they probably did it because of the ending of the first one, mm. but uh, uh, yeah, either way, I would have been okay with it. it doesn't matter. I, I'm going to roam around and kill animals and skin them and. <laughs> You know, shoot people in wagon trains and drag people onto train tracks. It's going to be glorious. Well, if there is co op <laughs> online, I promise, and we play together, I will not shoot you guys repetitively <laughs> like you said that I did with the last one, even though Which I don't remember you, it. Oh, yeah. What? And if I don't remember it, it didn't happen. This boy would sit on his horse right next to you in multiplayer, and you're talking to him, and he would turn and just gun you off your horse. That's how Matt played multiplayer. I don't remember that, oh, but yeah, um, selective memory. <laughs> we won't uh, we won't linger on this too long, only because there's really not that much to linger on, other nope. than the fact that it's coming. Yeah. So we are excited for that. Uh, next thing is a uh, no. It's not really another r- announcement, but uh, we got some new footage, which they said. What, wait, what did they say it was called? They said something like new uh, gameplay. Oh. Uh, probably just showing off the world it's just whatever yeah, it's, new, it's new gameplay footage from breath of the wild which gameplay footage sure uh it was just a little bit more about the environment uh i'm not even going to try to show it here um we'll have links to everything in the description below uh we don't have them now i probably should have put that in there beforehand but uh if you watch this later on youtube uh links to all of these trailers will be below um but yeah so it was just about a minute and a half sh- uh video just showing more of the world of uh, the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild coming out next year, um, yep. and I think I, I'm I'm this game and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn are my probably my two biggest for next year. I'm, I'm doing cartwheels for this game for some reason. The only thing about about Breath of the Wild that we've seen so far is it's huge open world. It looks like you can go anywhere, but the world looks really lonely because we haven't seen NPCs. We haven't seen right. any towns. The only, or at least the only footage that I've seen, and I might be wrong, is the only the only footage I've seen is just Link running around the world. Yeah, I and mean, they may be holding back on that. It still has until next year to come out. So, uh, or is it releasing when the other thing we talk about? It's supposed to be a launch title, I believe. So yeah, All right. March. We'll see. I think it looks awesome. Oh yeah, uh, I might actually end up buying one of the things we talk about next just to play this. Oh yeah, because uh, I don't have any Nintendo system. I haven't bought a Nintendo system since '64. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, not oh really? 1964, but the <laughs> Nintendo 64. <laughs> I haven't played Nintendo since 1964. Since back in Nam. <laughs> uh, so no, I have not felt the need to buy a Nintendo. They have great first-party games as always, but I've never felt the need to get one. And uh, this may make me get back because it's such a great-looking game, and it's open world, so it'll be awesome. Yep. So yeah. So not a lot there, other than there's a new video, and uh, just Google um, or search YouTube for uh, well, uh, I think it was I think it's under Breath of the Wild exploration footage or something. But again, a link will be uh, below. Right. But the big big news this week was the announcement, the official announcement of the Nintendo NX, now officially called the Nintendo Switch. Um, there was a really cool trailer, and I'm p- probably not going to show that either, because Nintendo hates for anything of theirs to be on YouTube. I found that out the hard way. Um, so, but you, I'm, I'm, sh- if you're watching this show, you have seen the Nintendo Switch reveal yes. trailer. So there's no point in showing it here. But it's just super quick if you have, and it's basically a tablet with uh, that can sit in a dock. So that it can get power, uh, be be powered and output to your TV. Um, there are two small controllers that can either be put onto a little center connector piece yep. to to mimic a traditional controller, or you can slide those pieces off, put it on the side of the tablet, and you can take it with you. There's also a um, you can use you can also take those controllers off and use them like nunchucks, uh, the Wii nunchuck. The Wii yeah. mode and the nunchuck in your hand like this, and the the tablet parts has a stand and it sits up. You can turn those. They're called Joy-Con, the Joy-Con controllers, the pieces that slide on there. 
You can turn them sideways, give them to a buddy, and they're the world's tiniest controllers. You play it like this. Um, there's also a standard controller that looks a lot like the GamePad Pro for the oh, Wii yeah. U, which is a fantastic controller. I really like that controller, except the buttons are backwards. Um, but I, but they they finally announced this. They they've been talking for months, if not a year or more about the new system is going to revolutionize the way we think about gaming in our home and gaming on the go and that there will be seamless 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 interaction seamless seamless, <laughs> uh, seamless transition between sitting on your couch and taking the game with you uh i am super excited for this i am uh, just seeing that three minute trailer i am a thousand percent sold and i will be pre-ordering wow wow i I, I really like Nintendo. I love the Wii U. I think yeah. the Wii U is one of the most underrated systems probably ever. Um, obviously, you know, no, I'm not going to go play Call of Duty on Wii U. I'm not going to play Call of Duty anyway, but I mean, I'm not going to play, you know, the bigger games that are ported to Wii U, like Ar the Batman Arkham games. One or two of those is on the Wii U. I'm not going to play those types of games, but there are enough cool experiences on the Wii U that I think it deserves to be owned by hardcore gamers all the mario games and and the, of course i've got a kid too so we play a lot of games together but um i think the wii u is fantastic and i'm excited for this and i'm gonna buy it. but dan you're not gonna pre-order or you're not gonna early adopt or whatever you're gonna wait <laughs> i think nintendo like like i mean they're stabbing themselves in the back by killing their own selves in the portable department they already win the portable department. They already have a nice portable. Now they're building another portable that can turn into that, that can just plug into a TV and look really nice. Um, so aren't they really hurting their own marketplace? <laughs> In my opinion, it's kind of an attack on themselves, and I don't understand why. I get it; it's cool the switch thing. I, I'm just wondering how many of those controllers are going to end up broken. Uh, how well those things snap on and slide off and how many times is it going to switch and switch and switch and then they're going to be worthless and you're going to have to throw that controller away. I, I get Nintendo's thing, go anywhere with it. They did it with the Wii U. They tried a tablet that you could pull from your screen to yourself then you can walk into another room while you play the game and then you can, you know, if another station's there, you can pull it back up there or whatever. That's fine. That's cool. They did that where you could go anywhere with your game. That's cool. I just think they're shooting themselves in the foot by making another portable system for a market that they already dominate. It's kind of like if World of Warcraft had a second MMO out, why would they do that? So they could just fight each other mm -hmm. and for the top of the marketplace? That doesn't make any sense. Sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul a little bit. <laughs> right. My other thing, I like it. It's cool. I will probably never take the portable thing. I like it as a console sitting there. I do not like those tiny little controllers. I have fat fingers. I'm a fat guy. I'm with you on and, that one. Uh, turning those things side, like I can yeah. see it, you know, using them this way, but turning one sideways, that seems a little crazy. The other thing is they are showing that thing playing out uh, your, 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 uh, you, the guy had the nunchucks off and the headset and while he was on the plane. Nobody's going to do that. He'll keep it in the handheld mode. Yeah. Uh, I, guys the I would not, if I'm on a plane, I'm not going to sit it on the tray in front of me and do this. But that's Nintendo it. just being like, hey, look what you can do. Nintendo, this is the we, we go everywhere with it. It's like the, the, uh, the girl yeah. takes it to the yeah. rooftop party. The guys at the basketball court after their game, they just start playing Nintendo there. One thing it showed me there is, number one, you better have very good battery life or that's not going to work at all. Number two, I guess it's working off of Wi-Fi or 3G or LTE, which means there'll be some kind of subscription if you're using any of that. Unless it's just Wi-Fi, then you're okay. Or if the systems can link together sitting next to each other mm -hmm. so that you – that they were playing four-player basketball game right there. How is that possible well, unless so, they do Wi-Fi or something like that? Well, I mean, the DSs can link together, so maybe they're – taking that out and putting him in the, I, I don't know so that's how that's, again robbing peter to pay paul yeah. you're stealing from your own marketplace i don't understand why you do that uh, they have a really good game coming out with zelda that's awesome mm. they always make great first party games that's awesome 
Uh, I will probably never take it out of the sleeve thing, maybe just to show people. But if I own it, it will sit in front of my TV and it'll be a console. Uh, I'm not going to use it for all the gimmicky stuff. I get tired of Nintendo making gimmicky stuff, and I'm afraid that's what they're trying to do again. It's like, look, our system does this, but yet no third-party games are on us again. That's not an attack at Nintendo because Nintendo does great with their first-party stuff, but they got to quit doing gimmicks. Just give us a really cool console that just is there. And I'm really, really, really happy with that. And again, you're attacking your own self in the portable market. I know you want to try to be a tablet. You tried it with the Wii U. I don't know anybody that uses the Wii U tablet as a tablet. Oh, I do. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. Around. I mean, that, that thing is limited. So I can't take the gamepad right. down the street or on a, when I have to travel for work. I can't take that. It has to yeah. be in the vicinity of the console. But I have absolutely played Mario Maker just on the tablet are on the gamepad before while Ben or somebody's watching something on TV. Yeah. And not every game supports that, but for the ones that do, it's fantastic. Okay, fair enough. So some people do use mm-hmm. it, but I mean, you, I don't know what you're trying to be a handheld, whether you want to be a tablet, Nintendo, just quit with the gimmicks. Just that, that's all I ask. I think there's going to be a crap ton of destroyed controllers. Will I pre-order this? Probably not. Will I buy one? Probably when Zelda hits, mm-hmm. yes. Well, and uh, uh, Breath of the Wild is coming out for the Wii U also. So, see, that's that's yeah. we know that it's running. The... They did the same thing with Twilight, yeah, with, and, and it was a terrible like port on one side to the other. It was better optimized for the other system, but it didn't come out for that system until like a, a few months later. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, um, uh, lost my train of thought. Um, we know yeah. that it's running the Nvidia Tegra processor, but we don't know the specs yet. So we don't. What we don't know, we do. Okay, we do know now that when it's in the dock, the dock does not provide more graphical processing power. No, it's the dock all only provides power. Yeah, Lou makes a good point here too. But would it distract an eight-year-old's uh, with small hands? Of course it would. But yeah. you have an iPad that does that already with That's Minecraft. <laughs> That's true. So, anyways, go ahead, Matt. Um, so, we do know that what is in the dock, it only provides power and output to your TV. So, it does not provide extra graphical power, which means what it runs is what it runs. Um, so, we don't know what the resolution is going to be. We don't uh-huh. know, is it going to look better on your TV than on the tablet? I don't... <laughs> I, whatever I, the resolution is, it's going to have to look exactly the same on your TV and and It'll on probably the, be a 1080p resolution. That's what and I'm thinking. I, it'll probably be 1080p on the, the the portable screen as well. That's I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I it, it's running at it's it's limited again by the size of the system, and you made it a tablet. So does that even compete with what's on the other consoles? No, uh, it can't. And therefore, is it easy to create for? Problem. Well, I don't know. It could be applications now as opposed to a harder creation of just a game for a game system. Uh. Would you pay the same amount for this as you would for a console that's as beefy as the Xbox and the PlayStation? Probably not, because you're not going to get the support from it from third party, and you're not going to get the power out of it. Well, supposedly there it, it is coming with a lot of third party support at launch. Uh, there was a they graphic that, that was time, released though. that had a bunch of right. like Bethesda and I can't. But it's going to be Skyrim and Batman. It's the old. They do this every. Okay, this. Well, and I'm Skyrim sorry. isn't even confirmed, even here. though they showed Skyrim in the. Right. In the trailer, Skyrim is not confirmed for this. N- yeah, Nintendo does this every time. When they did press conferences at E3, they would show a board with a ton of company names on there. But you were getting Batman Arkham Asylum uh, two years after Batman Arkham Asylum mm-hmm. had come out for the better consoles. Yeah, you get Skyrim, but it's already been out for the other consoles. Th- that's not going to sell your system. Stop lying to me that Bethesda's all behind you now. No, the latest game is not going to be played on you. You have to push your first party stuff. You have to come out strong with your first party stuff, meaning you can't just come out with the Zelda. You got to come out with the Mario and a Yoshi and a you know a bunch of different stuff to hit hard with your first party stuff. That's what wins Nintendo. That's how Nintendo plays. It's what they want. They can put up a graphic of a thousand different game companies, but they're putting the games on that are two years old to the PlayStation and the Xbox. That's not that, that's not legit. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm with you. I mean, there's there, basically what we're trying to say is there's there's a lot of unknowns. We don't, there's a lot. We don't know the battery life. Yeah. We don't know the price. We don't know the exact date. We don't know how much third-party support there's going to be. Correct. There's a, we don't know resolution. We don't know a lot of stuff. Um, 
But I guess I'll say this with a caveat. If, if, if the system that I get is exactly the system they showed in that trailer, then this thing, I kind of think it, well, if, if the system I get is what they showed in the trailer exactly, and we get the, the games, the third party support, and also the, you know, first party, like you said, they're all, they're always good. But if, uh, if the third party's there too, then I think this could be, I don't know, I think Game Changer's a little bit strong, but I think it could be revolutionary. I don't think so. I disagree completely. I think it's a cool concept. It is a gimmick by Nintendo. It is a tablet. That's what it is. It's a tablet. <laughs> we don't it's know, nothing, and we don't even know if it's touchscreen. Right, so exactly. That's the thing too. All we know is it has two slide on controllers to the side of it. So I don't even know if it's touchscreen. So it's a handheld game system. That's it. Well, it, 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 with, it's... with a lot more power behind it than what they already had. And that all comes down to, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to sound like a complete <laughs> jerk to Nintendo because I actually would well, probably they're listening and they're very offended. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Nintendo. <laughs> My thing is, it's like you can't have the power that the other two systems have. How easy is it to develop on that, that system uh, to make games for you? And you can't come out with third-party support that's two years old. You have to come out with the new stuff, and you have to compete in the third-party market. Or you're just going to be the third game system if somebody wants it. You'll be the fr- the family-friendly Mario Zelda system. That's not a bad thing. That's a good game system. But I may not own it. I won't own it like I own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One because I know those game systems will do what they're supposed to do. They're not gimmicks. They're actual game consoles. I don't know. I just I hate Nintendo when they come out with this gimmicky stuff. Just make a freaking box that sits there with an awesome controller like you used to and put great games on it. I don't understand why you got to try to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do, well, I do. I do appreciate them always trying to think outside the box because you look at the Xbox One, you look at the PS4, they're pretty much the same thing i mean they do the same stuff Uh, they have different exclusives they're they have different specs they have different apps and stuff on them but they're both consoles that sit in your living room and they play games you know so nintendo i I appreciate that they always try to think outside the box and then i get and i think maybe they know they can't compete against xbox and playstation so they have to do they feel like they have to do something different I don't know. I think they try to, to stay make relevant. More, I think this stuff that they're making is more towards a Japanese audience than an Americanized audience in the first place. I really do. I, I could see Japanese really being excited about handheld carrying. It's where they sell the majority of their stuff and their bigger titles are huge in Japan. I really, I don't, you make it sound like the Xbox and the PlayStation are boring because they sit in the living room. They're no, not. No, no, they're, they're not. They're, not they're boring. total media centers that you can do a lot of stuff with and they are very powerful and beefy systems. Nintendo needs to realize that, guess what? You know what sells really well? Boxes that sit on your living room (laughs) entertainment center that gamers sit behind and play. That's what people want. They don't want to... What happened with the the Kinect? Gone. Nobody wants to be up and running around. They want to be sitting in front of their console playing a video game. Quit trying to make everything difficult to play games. Just play games. (laughs) Well, so so the thing that I'm wondering, too, is... um, I wonder Absolutely. how this will affect the 3DS. Yes, Lou. <laughs> um, yeah, Lou has a good point. We grew up on their brand, but they keep trying to push us away with lackluster that's, systems. Yes, they have small hands, so it's the small controller. <laughs> that's uh, no, uh, not going there. Um, but, Sorry, that's wrong. Um, I wonder what this is going to do to three to uh, the 3DS. Uh, I wonder if they're still going to push that and market it and develop games because it's going to be a different. Okay, so what we didn't mention too is the Switch uses cartridges. Yeah. Which are not like the old NES and cartridge or anything. They're like the small Wii or uh, the small DS t- type cartridges, but they're not the same cartridges. Okay. They're almost like, you know, slightly slightly larger SD cards. Again, again you're going to have your little Nintendo pack with you everywhere you go that you flip open and lose your little game that's this big. <laughs> you're like, oh, man, I want to send me a 2K, whatever. It's gone now. Oh, there's more stuff I can well, carry no, you just, A lot awesome of people video. just buy that from the from the store and just download it. You know? <laughs> right, right. And we don't no, know don't, storage don't. size and all that yes, stuff. I mean, exactly. there's so many unknowns. They Everything will be revealed to us before it's available for purchase. It's not. I don't think it's going to be this year. No, no. Um, it's March of next year. I thought. 
No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, I don't think we're going to get any more reveals this year. Oh, well, about I would think so. If it's coming out in March next year and that kind of stuff, I think they will. They might. I hope I think, they do. Yeah, I'm actually thinking it's crunch time for you. It's already almost the end of October. You got five months to make me feel super excited about your game system and your launch title, which is probably why they started hitting this week. But uh, yeah, you really got to push this. Back. I got to see what you got there. Yeah, I agree. What, what, what? But um, but we'll 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 drop it for now. I mean, you we could talk about this thing forever. But it's interesting because I we have you and I haven't talked about the Switch yet. No, I'm super, a hundred percent on board, excited, and you aren't. So it'll be interesting to see. You know, like when it comes out, which one of us was right, basically? Like, was I right to pre-order because it's awesome, or were you right not to because it's kind of lackluster? The you thing know? is, both are right. It's perfectly fine if you pre-order. You have a son, and you play a lot of Nintendo games with your son. So there's a completely different demographic that it hits for you. Yeah. So it's totally fine if you buy it, and I don't. And neither of us will be wrong or I right. Just think if, I, just, I just hope it works as well. And I, I, I really don't think it's going to work as well. As it shows in that trailer, because man, that thing was seamless. Like he was playing friggin' Zelda on his TV and went plop, and it instantly showed up. There's, I, know, like that, you know? I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. I picture, do that. I, I picture games freezing <laughs> when it does yeah. that, or, yeah. oh, or something so happening, or bugging out. And you have to. Well, go back it won't and, be when you snap it back in. I can see it freezing going back to the TV because it's like you're making it a, a mirrored monitor now on your your PC. That's yeah. what you're doing. So it'll take a second to snap back. But snapping it out, I don't think you'll have a problem. All I worry about is all the 8 to 10 year olds snapping controllers on and off. Woo! And then all of a sudden, mom, my controller doesn't work anymore. It doesn't snap onto the screen. Oh, yeah, because little Johnny just broke it because all he did was stand over there snapping it, snapping it, snapping it, and it ended up snapped. So yeah, that uh, is, that, it is, that is a bad design. <laughs> No but anyways well yeah we'll be covering this more as they release stuff but uh, I, I'm, I'm I think it's awesome and yeah. you don't think that so you're wrong um, <laughs> so that's all we wanted to cover news wise uh, we do want to talk about some of the stuff we've been playing this week and surprise surprise this week we didn't just play World of Warcraft I did well Dan did um, well let's well, let's talk about that first Had anything new uh, have you, did you do anything else new uh, just kept up with my honor system, trying to get my Surmar honor up, and uh, getting ready for patch seven point one coming out Tuesday. Tuesday. So they bring new Karazhan quests. Karazhan coming quests. back. Karazhan comes back. Well, we still got a ways to go to get to there, but uh, we got all kinds of stuff uh, coming in the patch, which will be super awesome. I ran a and couple. We'll probably new... talk about it again next week. So. No, yeah, we'll be yeah. Oh yeah, we'll talk about wow every week. Uh, we ran yeah. a couple new, or I ran a couple new dungeons. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember what they were. <laughs> Black Rock Hold. Black Rock Hold, yep. And I thought that was it. I thought you had already done Azura, Eye of Azara. And I don't know. If Dead, we did Mall of Souls before. Uh, we've done the Warden's Vault. We've done uh, the Valor, Notharian's Lair, and we've done the Thicket. I think you've done them all. Yeah. I think it was Black Rock Hold that you hadn't done yet. Uh, that was the only one. Uh, but, yeah, it's still fun. No, oh, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, we're still yep. gearing up. Um, so outside of that though, I also played, uh, shoot. Uh, so Ben and I played the demo for Pokemon sun and moon, which, um, I've on the 3ds XL. I never, I've never played a Pokemon game on the 3ds, but it was actually kind of cool. It's very RPG esque. You know, you run around the, the demo wasn't very long, but you ran around and talked to people and you had to fight people with your Pokemon and it was kind of a turn-based thing, but like, but like, not quite as involved as like a an old school Final Fantasy, you know. But it was still cool. Right. Your your Pokemon facing off, and people who have played this, it's probably old hat to you, but I'd never done it before. But it was really cool to get those, and um, that was fun. So that's coming out next month. Um, so I'll probably get one of those for him when it comes out, and save the the other one for. Yep. And Dan just left. <laughs> Dan. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yay! <laughs> I don't know what happened there. You, okay, you left. No, I didn't close it. It just froze. <laughs> uh, that's weird. 
Yeah. Anyways. Um, anyway, so <laughs> that was uh, that was Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, let's see what else I played. The open beta for Dragon Ball Xenoverse Two, which was really cool. Uh, I've got a little bit of that here. Uh, I've never played a <sighs> Dragon Ball Xenoverse game before, even though I own the first one for PS4. I've never played it. Big shocker. Um, <laughs> I was really surprised with how much fun this was. Like, I know, Dan, you and I talked about it a little bit. You said that you don't, it's not really your theme because you don't really like fighting games, but this is really more than a fighting game. Um, I mean, this is, you're trying to complete an objective, but in your way stand different people right. that you have to fight. And, and it becomes kind of a fighting thing, but the way you can move around the environment and you're doing all the attacks that you see in the show with all the sound effects and all the moves and everything, I mean, it was really cool. Uh, I better take that off because that'll get flagged for copyright too. Stupid YouTube. <laughs> um, this was it was really cool, and it uh, I played it right at the last minute for the open beta, so I didn't get to really play it that much. Um, so then that made me want to switch over to the first Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which I've had for forever and never played, and that was really cool too. Um, the combat in the first one is not as good as the second one uh it's a lot easier to miss your attacks when you're trying to hit somebody you don't really get to lock onto them as much and um like here's a good fight from the first one um do it show it to us give us the fists of yeah th so this is from the first one now i was going to play your the cool thing is the character you create in the first one also shows up in the second one not as a playable character but as still a character that's in the story um, so I was going to play through the first one so that my character would show up in the next one when I played it. Come to find out that these two games are actually very similar. Like, you play through the same the same story points yeah. um, that you did in the second one that you did in the first one. Uh, I, I read up some, because when I played the second one, I was like, oh, cool, I'm fighting against Raditz. And then I played the first one, I was like, wait a second, I'm playing against Raditz, or I'm fighting against Raditz, <laughs> and I'm fighting against... Vegeta when he's a great ape and I did that they're both the same so I read up on it and turns out that the second one is actually a lot of the same stuff that was in the first one but with tighter controls better better fighting some more mechanics and other things like that <clears throat> so I really just kind of <coughs> after my second day playing I stopped playing the first one because the second one is better so I'm like well I'm just gonna play the second one I don't want to play the same game twice uh in this game so yeah uh, this kind of bad i understand it's it weird i mean it's like why it's i thought it would be something naruto different does the, yeah naruto does the same thing with its fighting games oh, do they? It's, the, uh, it, it's like they come out with like super ultra mega force 12 naruto and it's the same story like you just went through but with a little bit of added story towards the end so yeah. like a new boss at the end it's like uh, that's you want me to pay a whole another 60 dollars for that i don't i don't think i can do that yeah so, yeah exactly if so you're doing the same fights over and over just buy one of them and I played the first one a little bit. Oh, uh, did you? I don't know. So, yeah, it's just a uh, – to me, it's just fighting. Yeah. It is cool. You can move around. It's got more open – it feels like more of an open world. But uh, it's still basically a fight game. Yeah. I, I mean, I was pleasantly surprised. I kind of yeah. thought I would think it was okay, um, but not as good as I wanted it to be. But I, I really – I liked it. I, I really liked the second one. Like, the fighting in the second one, I was just landing everything. It was. Yeah. It felt really good. The first one did not feel that way. So the first one's going to get traded in, and the second one's going to get ordered at some point. Uh, yep. So something else that was so much fun, uh, Ben and I played Overcooked, <laughs> which is crazy town. It, it was, it's a lot of fun. You can play the single player, or you can play a local co-op, I think two to four players. Uh, so it was just Ben and me together. And this is just, this kind of almost feels like a game that should be on an iPad or something, but uh, with the way you get stars on a level and then you move to the next one and you have to get one to three stars, but it's really cool. So you're seeing like me and Ben here, we're controlling these two guys and up in the top left, we have these orders. So we're having burgers and one of them, it's meat, a bun and lettuce. The other one is just meat and a bun. The other one is meat, bun, lettuce and tomato or whatever. So you have to make these orders. And you have to go get the stuff out of the crates, and you have to um, 
you have to cut them up and you got to cook them and you got to wash the dishes because you only have yeah. a limited number of dishes. But then there's crazy levels like this where the kitchen split up on two moving trucks. Seems legit. And you have to wait. Oh, and Ben keeps falling off. So then he has to come back and I'm, I'm trying to chop the meat there or hammer out the patties and run it over to the thing. And there's a time limit and there's a time limit on the orders and it gets chaotic. And, you know, I'm like, Ben, no, go get, get, get the onions. Go, why are you chopping the lettuce? We need onions. And he was going crazy, and I was going crazy. I mean, I was exhausted after playing this. So this game is fantastic, <laughs> especially if you have somebody to play it with. I wish it were right. online multiplayer because I think, like, four of us would have a blast oh, with it. Yeah, we would. But I think it's just local multiplayer. Uh, um, but this was I, – I had bought this a long time ago thinking that me and Ben would have a good time with it, and we did, man. It was Is it awesome. on PC? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, got it on Steam. And it's not very expensive either. I think I got it on it, sale for so 15 bucks. So we couldn't bucks. play together? You said it's local co-op? I think I don't think there's an online component. I'll double so check. you guys had to do like a LAN party kind of thing? HooperCon. Who? HooperCon. We could play at HooperCon. Yeah. That would be I, awesome. I'm just wondering how you two played together. Did you do like a LAN party? Oh, no, 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 no. It has um, local, uh, like, local co-op. Oh, okay. So, like, if 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 me and you and Opie and Tim were together, like, we right. could all four play on one in one game. But me and you couldn't play like how we are now. There's no online multiplayer. Oh, okay. It's just local, uh, just local co-op like this. Um, but yeah, this was fantastic. This was so much fun. And I keep saying, Ben, let's play Overcooked. Let's play Overcooked. And he wants to play friggin' Roblox or something that was frustrating. But this <laughs> is awesome. So if you want to play a, just a fun game that you don't really have to think too well you do have to think a lot well, you gotta, you gotta, manage think, man. You gotta make stuff. burgers dog yeah and you gotta make soup and all kinds of stuff there, there's <laughs> mushroom soup and onion soup and whatever this was oh man i had so much fun with that so much fun <laughs> all right uh what else was there i played a bunch of games this week uh there was oh the last okay the last one is dishonored there you go yeah let's go with Dishonored. <clears throat> yeah so the first time uh i bought this a while back um this is from my stream this morning. Um, but yeah, Dishonored, the second one's coming out uh, in a couple weeks. And um, ooh, trying to find some gameplay footage here. Nope, that's me testing it out. Hold on. <laughs> it's amazing. I had, some, I had some technical problems this morning uh, with it, or with my uh, streaming setup. Yeah. But um, ah, here's, here's some. So the second one's coming out in November 11th. I had never played the first one, so I thought, let's go ahead and try to... Uh, let's go ahead and, and <clears throat> do a little bit of this. And, man, this game is fun, too. So it's all... It's first person. Let me try to get to, like, a better uh, combat or something. Um, but you've got, like, mystical powers, and you've got... Uh, you know, you, you can melee and stuff like that. Um, you can upgrade powers over time. You can... So there, it's, uh, it's stealth. There's a lot of different ways you can play this. You can go. You can go all stealth. You can not kill people, or you can kill everybody. You can go run and gun, or you yeah. can, you know, like teleport up here and go around the, you know, around the ceiling or something. And you can just strangle people, or you can kill them, or whatever. You have a main story objectives and side objectives and optional side objectives. You could or could not do them. Um, this game is a lot of fun. The story is really good too. <clears throat> um, I had an objective today where I had to either kill a guy that was head of the militia or i could just render him unconscious so i said well, let me just render him unconscious and then it said okay since you rendered him unconscious pick him up and take him to the air interrogation chair so i went and took him to an interrogation chair and then i and then it said now that you've done that brand him <laughs> with uh, with this hot iron thing that he uses to brand other people so i got to do that instead and that i mean that was really cool um yeah, this this thing, this game is fantastic. Uh, I'm only just barely into it after three or four hours of playing, just because I'm just searching for everything and making sure I don't miss anything. Um, but yeah, this is this is really really fun. I'm super excited for the sequel coming out in a couple weeks. So I will be playing this throughout this coming week on my lunch hour stream. There you go. Um, yeah, Dishonored. It's it's wow. The story is really really good. Is is what Dishonored. I like and, and it's just it's just cool that it's not open world, but you can play it the way you want to. You can kill everybody, not kill everybody, stealth, not stealth, whatever you want to do. I, there's a lot of people that like to do 100% stealth, no kills or whatever. 
I like to try to do stealth, but I don't necessarily try to avoid killing people <laughs> if the situation calls for it. I like to try to stealth, but if they see me, and it's either me or them, it's going to be them. Oh, Unless yeah. it's me, which happens a lot, and I have to restart <laughs> over and over and over. Because it's kind of tricky, but, um, man, it's it's All right, the Granny's gentleman callers, I shiver as well, my man. Yeah, that was that was a weird thing. That was Granny and her gentleman callers, and this, that, was, that, was, that whole thing was strange. It was a cool, I got cool stuff for doing that quest, though, so, um, yeah. Nice, dude. There was a lot of games uh, we played, but uh, it was fun. Um, Truth. Trying to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yep, that's it. We're good. All right, guys, we uh, ran a little bit long on this one, but uh, a lot of good but discussion. We do all the time about <laughs> we don't not all the time I think we do. but we're out um so thanks for watching uh as always you can follow us anywhere on the internet pretty much ever twitter <laughs> twitch facebook youtube and beam all of those we slash are the internet we yeah it pretty much it, in, it instead of yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, anywhere on the internet, uh, it's Nerd Punch. Um, uh, nerdpunch.com is our website, and nerdpunch at gmail.com is our email address if you want to send us topics to talk about, send us game suggestions, anything like that. Thank you to the new followers on Beam. Uh, we really yeah, like well. Beam, and we want to interact with more people there because it's a really cool platform. Um, so thank you for the followers there, and uh, yeah. We're out until this time next week. Uh, yes. Well, we're out with this show until this time next week, but we'll right. be playing streaming th throughout the right, week. Right, but I think next week we should do our BlizzCon prediction show and Dan's tinfoil hat Diablo breakdown. Which is... If it's as, it's, if it's crazy oh. town like the last like last week, we oh, talked about it's Diablo. crazier town. You're gonna love it. You're Is there more it. stuff? Oh, there's all kinds. You're gonna hear. I'm gonna go back to the original theory crafting from a year ago. We're, we're gonna. gonna <laughs> I did see a video. I linked it to you today about the three the the the, the, yeah. the die and the numbers weren't the same. And it oh, like ch ch of... that's part of it. That's okay, part okay. Of it, bro. So we might. Well, are we going to do that during this show, or are we going to have a BlizzCon special? We could. We could, or we could just make next show just put a week out from BlizzCon, and just do a full thing on BlizzCon. And also, I don't know if next show will be on Sunday because that's Halloween, isn't it? No, Halloween's not. Halloween's on Monday. Halloween's on Monday, yeah, but no, trick or treat night might be a different night, or bigger, yeah, depends night, on or whatever they night call is. it now. But um, but yeah, so BlizzCon. Lots to talk about late. BlizzCon coming up. Dan is going to throw out some crazy. You Diablo <laughs> fans not, love your conspiracy. But the conspiracy theory is real and it is legit. You're going to hear it. And is it a conspiracy or is it just Blizzard being very creative with It's their, Blizzard being very creative. Which is you what know, they you, bring do up, best. you bring up the die thing. We'll give them a taste. The die that you're talking about is a D4 die that came in the, the crate that you get at BlizzCon this year when you go. If you pre-ordered through the uh, the the purchase of the DirecTV forty dollars thing, you got to order that for thirty dollars. The people who received it, they got a package of D and D die. In that D and D die is a D four, a four sided die that has one through four. On that die was a misprint. It just had one one four. So I had two ones instead of having the correct numbers. Now everybody thought it's like the Diablo dice. It's a D4 for Diablo 4, 114, 11 4 for November 4th. The reason people say that is because Blizzard is a company that is very particular about their products. The dice company that made the dice for them is also particular about their products, so it's kind of a little tease. And I'm pretty sure Blizzard would have uh, actually done that if they if if, if uh, everything's coming out like it says it is. But we will see. But that's the first tease. That's the that's the dice. But tease. there's more than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Awesome. Gonna so yeah, we're gonna have a BlizzCon. Uh, we're gonna be talking a lot about BlizzCon before and after because there's gonna be True. cool stuff at BlizzCon. So a couple weeks from now, after BlizzCon is over, no, a couple weeks from now, BlizzCon will be going on. Correct. The fourth and the fifth of November. That's for the following weekend. Yeah. So the weekend after that, because I don't know about our show two weeks from now because that's on a Sunday. The weekend of BlizzCon. Yeah. I don't know what your plans are for that, so we we'll have to figure that out. Do it. I think we can still do it. So yeah, lots of BlizzCon talk coming up in the next couple of weeks. We love Blizzard, yes. um, so do. that's gonna be awesome. So anyway, we're out. But thanks for watching, guys, and we will talk to you later. Peace. <laughs> See ya. Free trade.